Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Today's tip has to do with some cool new features that came out a couple of releases ago for model space viewports. Okay, not the paper space viewports, but model space viewports, those tiled viewports. All right, so um, really come in handy if you're working in 3D, if you want to be able to look at your drawing from a couple of different viewpoints at the same time. All right. That's what they originally came into play for. So let me show you these cool new features. Now I have to tell you, you gotta put your glasses on for these because they're really hard to see. <laughs> Very hard to see. If you uh, have AutoCAD 2015, they're a little bit easier to see. For some reason, the last couple of releases, they made it a little trickier to see. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. What is she talking about? Now, if you wanna put tiled viewports, model space viewports in your drawing file, you can go to view and go to viewport configuration and then decide the layout that you want. Okay, I am going to be lazy because we all know how lazy I am. We're gonna double click on this dash, which is in the in canvas viewport controls. <laughs> Easy for you to say, right? And you will see that when I double click on that dash, it actually sets these up in a really nice way. So we have a top view and a side view and a right view and so on. And I told you I'm lazy and I like it when it sets it all up for me. All right, so. In auto, it used to be you were kind of stuck with the configuration the way it was. If you want four, they're all evenly spaced. You didn't have any control over how big they were, how little they were. Well, now we have the ability to quickly add more viewports and to control the size of them. All right, this is where you have to put your glasses on. So there are these little handles on the viewports, right in the middle of the viewports. Very hard to see though, I'm not gonna lie. And as you, if you move those around, it allows you to resize the viewports. You can also grab it right in the center there and you can change the size of them as well, okay? So that's one thing you can do. You can also, there are these little pluses, tiny, tiny, almost invisible. I'm gonna say they are invisible, <laughs> little pluses at the top or the bottom of each of the viewports at the very outskirts of the viewports. If you click on those pluses, you can actually add another viewport. We could never do that before. I can come down here and I can add another viewport as well. Okay, so you can just have viewports galore all over your screen. Now, if you decide that you have too many viewports and you want to combine them together, once again, grab that nearly invisible handle and you can pull them together and once it hits another viewport, it will meld them together. All right, so that's another option for you to do. I can even come up here and do the same thing here and pull them back. All right. Those new features came out inside of AutoCAD 2015. You can take your glasses off now. <laughs> but I want to show you how easy it is to change the size of model space viewports and how easy it is to add an additional one. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of the week.